Hi, Laguna Woods. It's Rick Bradford, pastor at Saddleback Church, Laguna Woods. This is inspiration for today, and you've tuned in to Fun Friday. We have Laguna Woods funny gal, Joey Sims, as you can see. Joey, thanks for, for being here. Oh, thanks for asking me. Yeah, I like blue blouse. Blue, blue's good on television. What about red, though? Not red, red, but that's fine. Okay. I always like to check that's with right. you. I know it. Joey is often my coach in many uh, onstage type things because right. you have years of experience of this. Yes. In fact, I was just reading your uh, bio here a little bit. It says an accomplished tap dancer. Yes, I was. Well, what do you, I'm not sure I believe that, Joey. Oh, well, it's true. Well, I can't do it on this grass, so. <laughs> okay. I, <laughs> you got where I was going. I was going to see if I could yeah. get you you dancing. Yeah. I, I, I belong to TGIF. I helped start that club, and I love to dance. Okay. I dance when I sing on stage. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Do. yeah. Well, it does, and it says trained singer also. Yeah, I used to sing with bands. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I love show business. But nevertheless, here you are at Laguna Woods. Now, how many years have you been I've, living I've been here? I've been here 18 years. I came here when I was 25. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that That's works. Right. It works yeah, for me. Right. And, and what do you think of Laguna Woods? I love Laguna Woods. Yeah? Yes, I think, especially if you're single, it's the greatest place to be there is because we have so many clubs and so many opportunities to do so much stuff. Yeah. And in uh, fact, you were saying even our our church, you as a single person, you feel comfortable. Very comfortable because when you're single, you just don't have the family closeness that you do with when you're married and with the small groups and our women's lunch. Yeah, because you're in small group, right? I love small groups. I have two of them. Yes. And I go to the women's luncheon, and uh, I like 19, and that's where that is. Yeah. So yeah. there's just it, and our table, you know, it's like family time every Sunday. Now, what if, uh, what if a man came along? Are, are you open to that? I'm open. I think I'm very particular. Are you? But I'm open. You know, I'd be telling him how to dress and. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, hard here. Well, you said to me, well, what's what age are you open for? Oh, I told my I told Dick Witten that uh, men like women half their age. Does he know anybody 130? <laughs> yeah. And, and what did and, and what did he say? Oh, he just laughed. Yeah. In here, you know, there's eight women to every two men, and that's an absolute fact. And That's amazing, really, when you really think about is. it. I just yeah. well, the men yeah. here are just um, I always say they're they're kind of ego egotistical. <laughs> <laughs> now that because, you know, I've listen, never thought of it that this way. This is a church show. I probably shouldn't say that word. It works <laughs> on my stage, <laughs> but they are because there's yeah. so many women after them. As long oh. as they can even stand up straight or move, you know, so. And yet you said you like young men. I do, because I'm, I'm a young person. It, age is just a number. Yeah. It would take at least two 40s to keep, two 40s <laughs> to keep up with me, yes. Well, yeah. you, you said to me one time that you're, you're, you like them so young, it's probably oh, not yeah. born yet. Right, yeah, it could be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, really, honestly, that was what I really like. Yeah, that's a good I, advertisement I, for me, isn't it? I gotta say, <laughs> no. In fact, when you said on stage, because you're still on stage. Yes. We, we talked about this a little bit we're last. We're in our 12th year of the comedy club. 12th year. Wow. And, and now if, we're up to about 400, uh, four to 450 in the audience. And it's, I know it's on the fourth Thursday of each month. Yeah. You so, haven't been there. Although, you? You, yeah, oh, of course. I didn't know that. Yes. I'm glad. I'm not, Thursdays are not great days for me, so I'm not always able to make it. But yeah, yeah, I appreciate you so much because I know one of your things is that you want them on the clean, clean side. We do PG-13. That's what it has. You to say be. that, yeah. 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 Sometimes I have to uh, hold a sign up for something, <laughs> but most of the time it works out. And and Laguna Woods, that it's there. I'm in awe of the funny people that, that Joey get. But you started off every time 
and that's that's good. It's much harder. To, it's much harder if you're clean. It's yeah. Because you have to make people laugh without the dirty words, and I know. And some people just laugh at dirty words because they're not I know. too bright. I've know? really noticed that. Why? <laughs> I, I I've often wondered when I hear some of the comedians, which I don't hear for long because I yeah. turn them off, but. But why does everyone, is it just shock value yes. that somebody would say those words in public? They want to laugh. They don't care why they get it, see? And so when they're bombing, what make when they're bombing and I heard this at the improv a lot, they start out with the dirty words when they're bombing because people oh. give nervous laughs. And to them, that's oh. laughter. That's what that's about. Nervous. That yeah. that yeah. actually makes a lot of, and I've I've That's wondered right. that question for a long time. That's right. So yeah. that that helps clear it up. But but I anyway I appreciate you and yeah. and, and and that. So so Joy, here here you are. And what were you saying, Laguna Woods? It's kind of a uh, I I know it's a senior community, but weren't you saying? Oh, I kid about it being God's waiting room. <laughs> waiting that we come here yeah, you know people who feel good about god don't do anything but the people who don't will go oh and you could almost pick them out <laughs> 10 or 12 over here yeah but most people here especially at my club they have a great sense of humor so when you say things like it's a senior camp a camp for seniors it's god waiting room they, i think we laugh. like to laugh at our yeah i think so it, 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 I always often say advanced maturity yeah. as opposed to old. But I, that's just my thing. I think you have that's a better sense thing. of humor when you're a Christian, too. Oh, okay. Well, so. I I don't know. People laugh at my jokes on Sundays sometimes. Well, they're Christians <laughs> and you're Christians. So. <laughs> I don't know. And you are funny. You have a great sense of humor. Well, thank you. I One thing I do do, and I know you do it, too, because I've seen you in action, is I'm pretty relaxed. I like to just talk to the audience right. as if they're not the audience, just another person. You're, you're that very we're, relaxed. So, but you do the same thing. Yes. Yeah. I, I, um, I never get nervous on stage. I yeah. But because I love it. Like I always tell the tech, turn on the lights. I want to see the people's face. When you see that you're being well received, like you are at church. Did you do cruise ship entertainment? A couple. What's that like? That's really fun. Um, I took a group from here on a comedy cruise and uh, held comedy classes. No kidding. Like you taught comedy? I taught comedy. And then when, they, when we got back, I let the, the man that won do several minutes on the stage. Yeah. That is so fun. Yeah, it is fun. But you do think of fun stuff. Yeah. Well, I went yeah. to the improv off and on for two years to comedy classes. I think you're born funny, but when you need to, everyone needs to know how yeah. to deliver and how to punch and all that, you know. So on that cruise ship, did you get to do a show or? Oh, every day, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How do you come up with stuff? Well, it's really easy being living in Laguna Woods. Everything is funny here. Is it? Oh, it is. Like what? Okay, there was <laughs> a, there was a, um... Just husbands and wives even talking. It's okay. Just, they're they're just funny. You want me to tell a joke, don't you? Well, if you got one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, husbands and wives. I, I I've been All accused. Right. Okay. Then, like I heard about this couple that went to the hotel, and um, the man was and the, they got into a terrible fight. And the man called downstairs and said, "You need to come up right away. My wife is trying to jump out the window." And um, the, the man at the desk said, well, that's a personal problem. He says, no, it's not. The window won't open. That's a maintenance problem. <laughs> See, that's good. It, it's very similar to the guy that told me on the golf course the other day that he said, you know, my wife said, if I play golf one more time, she's leaving. And he said, I'm sure going to miss her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's I, so true. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of like that. It is kind of like that. My grandmother used to say, much truth is said in jest. Right. Yeah. Hey, Laguna Woods, I hope you've enjoyed today. It's another fun Friday, and I'm going to have Joy back another day. I know she'll come. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. God bless.